Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the tools that I've used to help me boost my audience and product sales on Creative Market. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Hey guys, welcome back. Let's get into it. So what tools can we use to boost our audience and sales on Creative Market? So in this video, I'm gonna show you the tool that I actually use specifically, which is Pinterest. So I used to do a lot of Pinterest marketing in the last year, and that helped me boost some of my sales on Creative Market, and I'll get into that in just a minute. There's no specific way on how to grow your audience online, you just have to test what social media and digital channels that may work best for you. So I'm not the best on social media, to be quite honest. I'm really not that consistent. But what I am starting to get more consistent in is creating YouTube videos. So that's the best place that I get all of my traffic. I drive all of my traffic to my online stores from my YouTube videos. So that's where I'm going to focus my efforts. I'm also experimenting with blogging right now and SEO keyword strategies as well. You kind of have to find what works for you. So I recommend trying a couple of different things to see what works for you. If Instagram works for you, I would recommend doing that or if blogging works for you because on Creative Market, you can actually create collections. For example, if you wanted to make a collection off of dopamine design, you can go to the product page and create a new collection. And what you can do is you can embed your products, your collections onto your blog. That will actually help drive traffic. There's nothing wrong with making a little bit of money from affiliate marketing. I also think that's the best way to make sales online. So, so if you're having a hard time driving traffic to make sales or even grow your audience, Audience, I think a good way is also blogging and sharing other people's work and making affiliate income. That's one way. I'm not going to get too heavy on how to use Pinterest because I know there are a lot of really good videos out there on Pinterest marketing that you can Google online and on YouTube. What I will do for this specific video is talk about how I use Pinterest and show you some of the techniques and methods that I've used that has worked for me and it might work for you. Try it and let me know if it does anything to your audience growth and more sales for your creative market shop. Okay, so how to use Pinterest. Obviously, what I like to do is I do a bulk upload and I use a tool called Tailwind and I'll show you some of that in just a little bit. But what I also do is I create different kinds of Pinterest boards. I have so many different kinds of interests, so I just group them with different kinds of content to see what gets more traffic. And so I'm part of a group with 4,000 pins. There's about 166 followers. You can ask to be a contributor on any of these group boards. And then what you can do is you can also upload to this board. So there were a lot of things that I had to learn about Pinterest marketing, but it's not that hard. It just takes some poking around, doing your research and exploring the platform. We're gonna research keywords on Pinterest Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upload 10 pins. So I actually created 10 pins and they're just 1080 by 1920. And this is Instagram story size. So I find that because Pinterest is more vertical, I'm just creating vertical images. So it doesn't really matter. You can customize the size. You can Google the Pinterest size. So in order to upload these, I use an app called Tailwind. Tailwind is super cool because you can batch all of your pins and then you can schedule them. And they even have this thing where you can smart loop it. So if you scheduled something three weeks ago and you wanna just reschedule them and repin them again, you can do that. It doesn't matter if you repin or reloop old content and it's fine. So I used to think that 
that was kind of a no-no for Pinterest marketing and repinning your work because people are gonna get sick and tired of it, but actually it's fine. So I actually have a referral code below this video that you can check out if you'd like to try Tailwind. So I have the free account, but a year ago I had purchased a subscription. So I think I paid for like the whole year. I think you might be able to get a discount through my referral code because I haven't been active on Pinterest. I actually just canceled my membership. My current plan is a free plan. So you get to connect one Pinterest profile, your Instagram profile. So you can actually schedule posts out for all of these other platforms. So I think it's worth it, especially if you don't like to post uh, social media content every day, you could do this all in one day and just schedule them out. That's actually the best use of your time. So once you sign up for an account, we're gonna go to home and we're gonna go to upload media and we're gonna go to the Gypsy Goddess Pinterest account and then we'll browse. I'm just gonna locate my files. Here's all my files. There's about 10 images that I prepped in advance and you're just gonna upload your content. This is super fast, I really love this. And so once you've uploaded this, you can click this bulk schedule and underneath. What you can actually do is you can schedule this out. So what I like about Tailwind is that you can go to the original publisher. Here are my drafts, what I've uploaded. What you do is do everything in bulk. So if I wanted to, add these pins to different boards you can do that here so we can do digital wallpapers and this is kind of a good way to just bulk upload everything i would say the more boards the better make sure you're creating your boards before you upload your pins i'll just upload it to a bunch of different boards that i think this might be a good fit for i'm also part of a art and illustration group so i'm going to go ahead and add this to the board group you can create your your own boards you'd have to check out the Pinterest settings to do that once you're happy with all of the boards that you've chosen you can also add where you want this to go let's go back to where I copied that link from creative market and let's paste it here and then we'll do the same I know this is kind of tedious if you want to make money online and do a little bit of uh, marketing without spending a lot of money this is kind of how how you can do it. Let's go ahead and keep adding our links. All right, guys. And the other thing, so before you schedule this out, make sure you connect your Pinterest account. So I did wanna go over and go back to Pinterest really quick. This is how you can figure out what kind of keywords to use is going to the ad section. So create an ad, but we're not actually gonna create an ad. We're actually just going to look for keywords. So go ahead and go through the process like you're creating an ad, but not really. And then we'll just do active, daily, run, and then continue, go to interests and keywords. And then this is where we'll go add keyword. For this specific product, these are all the keywords that I added. So on the bottom of any product on Creative Market, if you go all the way down, you can see what keywords shop owners have added. This is some of the keywords I've added. So let's do a search for Southwest and Boho and see what comes up. Here are all the keywords that come up on Pinterest and what people are searching for. And this is what you want to add as a keyword to some of the pins that you have. Let's do Southwest tattoo. And so it'll add it here on the left side and we could just add this to our Pinterest pin. So we're just looking for keywords right now. Let's do Southwest. I think we have enough here to get started. So what I actually like to do is I'll copy these and then I'll go back to Tailwind and I'll go back to the bottom of one of the descriptions for the pins and I'll just paste it. You would actually need to edit once you put this in, just add commas in between the keywords. So once you have your keywords figured out. Let's go ahead and copy this and paste this on every pin so that we get the most maximum amount of traffic because of the keywords that we're putting in here. All right, so once you've added 
all of the boards that you want to pin this to, all of the keyword research and the description right here, and make sure the link is going to go to where you want to direct the traffic to. And make sure everything looks good. And then once we're done, let's go ahead and click on schedule all drafts. So because I have the free account, it actually locked it for the next couple days. I think they only let you um, add in 20 pins at a time. So it's in here, it's scheduled. It'll just be scheduled on different days. But if you do upgrade, because I've had paid subscription before, I was able to move some of these pins around and schedule them out into the future. So you can do that with a paid account. But for now, we're just gonna experiment doing this and then you can actually do this again in the next week. So say you posted this on a Tuesday, which I'm filming this video on a Tuesday, you can start posting pins again the next following Tuesday. I think because I have a free account that it's only allowing me to post about 20 pins at a time, but I know that you can also check out the different the different subscription plan if you really want to get into it and like boost your sales and your followers i think this actually really did help me grow on pinterest just to give you an idea on pinterest i had about i think like 10,000 to 15,000 monthly views a year ago because i was so active on here so because i'm not doing this full time the views have kind of like dropped off but once you start creating products and start directing traffic to your products on the back end of creative market once you start posting and directing traffic to your shop you'll see a breakdown it's in their dashboard in your shop you should be able to find this so you're not going to see much of this traffic for like a couple weeks or even a couple months until you start actually posting products and promoting them from different sources then you'll start to see where they come from i guess i'm getting a lot of traffic um 16 000 from creative market which is great uh, external search so people are searching me on Google uh, social media it's not that great because I'm not really that active on Instagram other I'm not really sure where the other is could be from multiple places but if you just focused on it your traffic your views are gonna go up so this is when I was most active like about a year ago I would say and the last thing that I did want to talk about is SEO so if you just do a quick Google search on how to rank on Google search they'll tell you exactly how to do it so implementing the keywords that we did a search on for Pinterest so doing your keyword research here whatever product that you're creating whatever theme or design look for the actual keywords here on Pinterest and implementing that on your product page and adding those keywords onto your product pages on creative market also if you have a blog or website adding those specific keywords in the descriptions or your blog content will really help you rank on Google. For example, like I did a quick search on, let's just say digital tie dye. Here are all of the things that are ranking. A couple of my videos are ranking how to create a digital tie dye rainbow design that's ranking and how to create a seamless tie dye pattern. So I've got one, two, three videos that are ranking. And then also you can see all of the ads that creative market does put out for some of your products. That's why they take 40% of your shop earnings because they do a lot of promotion and ads on Google to drive that traffic to your site. Here's one of my products that there's an ad for, this one as well, and also this, there's an ad. You can see what other shop, what other content are ranking, and hopefully that'll give you some ideas on what you can rank for. One of my classes on Skillshare is actually ranking how to create 
create a digital tie-dye pattern in Photoshop. You could just go down the list and this is what actually people are searching for based on that digital tie-dye keyword that I typed in. You can do this for your products and see what kind of keywords come up and I would recommend going to the very bottom to see what similar keywords that people are searching for. So hopefully you got a lot of value from this content. If you guys have any questions, anything that I went over that you'd like me to explain in further detail, please let me know. Comment below this video. If you like this content, please like this video and subscribe to this channel. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.